there's nothing quite like completely relaxing as you are. Right now for today, just totally relax. Relax mind, body. Allow thoughts to be as they are. Rest naturally. Make no effort to change yourself or the next perception. Just completely relax. And in my experience, this choice and lifestyle of complete relaxation brings about uh, unimaginable benefit, clarity, ease, obvious openness, complete relaxation. <laughs> and um, this lifestyle of complete relaxation I, I was introduced to through the Balance You training. I used to think that relaxation was uh, found in certain circumstances with certain thoughts and emotions, like the relaxed ones, <laughs> or relaxed body, no tension, or with certain people who I thought were relaxed, other people weren't so relaxed. And then meeting the Balance You Training, I was introduced to something about myself that is forever at ease and forever open and needs no effort or attempt to make it the case. The true nature of my mind, the, my foundational intelligence, the true nature of reality itself. And what we call that in the Balance View Training is open intelligence. And we can introduce ourselves very simply right now just by stopping thinking for a moment. And notice what remains. Openness of mind, alertness, clarity, cognizance, your power to know, the power to know, simple power to know, awareness, open intelligence. The thoughts come back in, open intelligence is still there, knowing the thoughts. The thought resolves like a line drawn in space, leaving no trace. Open intelligence remains, hearing my voice looking through your eyes, feeling you sitting in this seat, feeling the wind on your skin, <laughs> that about you which knows always whether you're awake, sleeping, dreaming. Natural intelligence, open intelligence, at the basis of all experience, without question, without doubt, fundamentally so, always been the case, never going anywhere. The practice of the Balance You Training is to rest as open intelligence for short moments, repeated many times whenever you naturally remember to do so. Short moments repeated many times until open intelligence is continuously obvious. Obvious to you. In my experience, it just been overlooked. <laughs> I'd never been introduced. I was living my life looking at all of my thoughts and emotions, we call them data streams in the training to keep it simple, I was looking at just taking all of my data streams, my assessments, my descriptions, my ideas, my beliefs, my opinions, my sensations and descriptions of those to be the entirety of my reality. So when the data streams changed then everything changed and I was swept along with it. So waking up in the morning and, you know, feeling a little bit grumpy, <laughs> for example. <laughs> you know, a little bit like, mm, don't want to get up, stay in bed, mm, something's wrong. What is it? <laughs> and then taking this thought or feeling and running with it, you know, like, wow, the thought comes up, something's wrong. Okay, then there's something wrong. 
what am I going to do about it? I'm going to find the reason. I'm going to dig around. I'm going to dig around. I'm going to pull my data streams apart. I'm going to look and look and look. Maybe it was something I had for dinner last night. That conversation I had. Surely I've got to pinpoint the source of this thought, why it's arising. Or maybe the next day it would be feeling happy, waking up. <laughs> and this ever-changing display and constantly looking to find my stable ground in it, to find clarity, to find well-being in this ever-changing display of thoughts and emotions. And being introduced to open intelligence, what I've come to see is that well-being is present right here. Regardless of how I think and feel. Everything is arising, positive, negative, in between, in the vast open space of open intelligence, the vast open space of your mind. Inseparable from it, like the color blue is inseparable from the sky, or that the breeze is inseparable from the air. And as we rest as the basis of all experience is open intelligence, we, we come to see a great settledness and openness, and for myself a capacity to be in the world that I didn't know was possible. Instead of all the data streams being my boss, <laughs> could say. I heard Candice use that in a talk from 2007, just yesterday, I love it. Like your thoughts and emotions being a boss of you. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, that's so true. Like just bossing me around, like thought comes up. Yeah, okay, I'll do that. Oh, thought, oh. You know, or even thinking that I'm just a victim to them, you know, like another thought comes along and I think, you know, that has just something to say. Just being so pushed around this way and that by the ever-changing display of our mind until I was introduced what's to what's at the basis, what is pervading all experience and what I can rely on e in each moment, it was just a natural reality to be responding like that. It's so normal. But now, being introduced to open intelligence, we have a choice. We have a powerful choice in every moment in how we use our mind and how we respond to our experience. And this is the invitation today for you, is to test out short moments of open intelligence in your own experience. Right here in this moment is your opportunity. There's no other moment that you're going to have that choice apart from the current moment you're in. <laughs> so seize it right now to rest mind and body, completely relax and recognize open intelligence, recognize the openness of your mind. It's, it's, to not do this is a, um, in my experience, is a such a shame. <laughs> it's such a shame to limit myself to my thoughts and emotions. When the great context, the comprehensive order of my mind, of intelligence, of reality itself is here shining brightly to support everything. To see, really what it gives us is to see what will be of greatest benefit in each moment. That's our seeing and that's our capacity as human beings. And I see my, it was so limited by focusing on my thoughts and emotions into thinking moment by moment, this is what is reality, when boom, here it is, wide open and clear, open intelligence, shining brightly, and the capacity to respond naturally. You know, just natural, natural, uncontrived. <laughs> That's my little free flow dance. <laughs> I'll do the full <laughs> performance later. I love dancing with my um, seven-year-old niece. I'm going to break away a little bit now. She loves dancing. She loves watching like the dance. There's this like competition called Strictly Come, Strictly Dance, Strictly Ballroom, or Strictly Come Dancing or something. She loves it. Um, she just always wants to make me dance with her. It's the best fun. So we like make up little routines, and she's so free flow. <laughs> it's so brilliant. <laughs> it's like she's got the wildest moves you'd ever imagine. Like she hasn't sort of like trained herself into this. Like this is how the body's meant to move when it dances, and she's just like <laughs> she's like a whirlwind all over the place. Just yeah, it's absolutely. I learned so much from her. So a little bit like that, you know. Completely relax, completely relax. There's the, the, the rule book of our thoughts and emotions, how we're meant to be controlled by them, what we're meant to do and think and look and be and identity. Uh, just relax, you know? <laughs> Jeez. So tense. 
so tense, so uptight, trying to get everything in order, like little boxes of, you know, right, this is, I'm, now I'm feeling like this and this is where I'm meant to be. Just completely relax, rest at the basis of all experience. That's the invitation, rest. Rest deeply and completely, openly. Let data streams flow on by, resolving on the fly, leaving no trace. Don't need to grab them, bring it back into the current moment and torture ourselves with it. Just relax. <laughs> I don't even know, like, where did this all come from anyway? Like, why did we learn to, like, abuse ourselves in this way? Like, why? <laughs> or how? Or it doesn't matter. We just, now we have another choice. Now the solution is here. We don't even need to think about being or doing. <laughs> just relax. Relax, practice short moments. And for me, th it's... Through, through the Balance You training, training up open intelligence, training up, using this incredibly generous offering of support. Like, you know, support so vast and generous and loving that I couldn't really see it to begin with. <laughs> it was a bit like I needed to sort of train, get sort of new glasses on. It was just so immense. I'd never been met with anything like it in my life. And it required a little bit of time to settle in to that much love. <laughs> like people uh, that cared about me so much, cared about my life and flourishing and my capacity to be a benefit to all in the world, that there was just an unending flow of inconceivable generosity, a practice that I could use in, my, in every moment to empower myself completely, to have clarity of mind in an instant. Media, endless, endless media that evokes this recognition with no effort. Even if I would sit there and think and think and think about open intelligence or think and think and think about how I should do something, listening to a, a talk and just relaxing completely, allowing it just to completely wash over me, in evoking the recognition of open intelligence and resting there and trusting that I will know what to do. <laughs> That's amazing. Trusting in not knowing, having the data streams, I have no idea, letting that be as it is. Relying on open intelligence, the knowing quality, the restful quality of you. And, um, and then in that way, you know, decisions just coming about so naturally. But seeing also that, you know, my availability to relationship and to be there for people is just um, also not hindered anymore in any way. So even if not in the same place as somebody, just seeing it's beautiful to really like rest deeply and consider what will support someone you know like um you know not just going perhaps for our standard response or thinking that that's what we need to do or not do or just rest completely rest deeply there's so often for me so so much of an urgency to act on things and so having the choice to completely relax allow the data to flourish and do their thing without any problem relaxing openly in the arising of everything without needing to focus on anything in particular, resting as open intelligence there and allowing it to come clear and, you know, allowing your heart to lead you <laughs> in how to be in touch with somebody that needs support. Like, and, um, and all of those of ideas about it being, um, you know, of course, we feel with everyone too, like inappropriate, or will they respond to that? Da, 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 and letting all of that be as well, and seeing there clearly, really, what will serve and be of benefit. How can I contribute to this situation in person? Could look like any options. And it's so beautiful to see how available we are for love, how available we are completely for love with everybody, you know, in a, in a really truly human way that's um, not limited to the love. I, I thought it should be, but just complete openness, total openness in our relating that is never shut down, is never ever compromised, the openness of open intelligence and all the data that are shining forth, they more and more become just a, a joy <laughs> and an excitement of being, like we start to see that, you know, I through the support of Balanced View that it's... Um, there's always an opportunity to benefit in every moment. And so taking the short moments and 
practicing that in our everyday life and you know checking out the what's on offer here from Balance View because it's something truly truly remarkable for the world.